Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a rope braid for your flower fairy doll. If you are new to fairy making, welcome. You'll find a list of tutorials below that will get you started in fairy making. Um, I always say that hair is the hardest part of a fairy. And so I've created a few in-depth tutorials where I teach you exactly how to do different hairstyles. This one is actually quite easy. I love how it looks. It's so pretty. And my goal with this is to just slow these steps down so you can really understand how to create this hairstyle and perfect your fairy making skills. I do have a fairy kit that you can purchase in my Etsy shop. I will also put a link for that below. I love the kit because it solves the problem of having to round up all of the supplies you need to make a fairy. Stick around to the end for a sneak peek of my one of the dolls from my holiday kit. And if you enjoy this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me out a lot. Let's get started. You'll need a sharp pair of scissors, and of course I have my trusty glue gun set on low because it's easier to work with the glue. And then this is optional, but I have these little plastic poly bands, and they help with just kind of holding the hair in place while we're creating the hairstyle. And then of course we need a fairy doll. So you can see I've already twisted the body. You do this by taking a wooden bead, some floral wire, and some embroidery floss. Um, twist it into this cute little doll. I've dressed her, and then she also already has her flower skirt on. And this is one of the flowers in my holiday kit. It's a white rose and it's so pretty. I love it for fairy making. And so actually, I guess you're getting two sneak peeks in this video. So, okay, we've got our fairy doll. You'll find a tutorial for basic fairy making below. The first thing we're going to do is take our doll. We're going to face her so we're working at the back of the doll. You're going to push the bead down and then taking your glue gun, you're going to add a small dab of glue at the top where the wire meets the embroidery floss for her hair. And then you're going to push up the bead and hold it in place until that glue sets. Here's a little close up. And then we're gonna flip her back to the front and we're going to start to smooth out the hair. And I do this by taking two fingers and just gently pulling on the hair, smoothing out all of the threads so they're nice and even. Then I flip her to the front and I start smoothing the hair down and parting it. And you can part it right where the wire is. I like to um, cover up that wire. So I just smooth the hair down, move her to the back, and I'm just really just making sure that all of those threads are nice and even. And then we're going to give her a little haircut. So grab your scissors and we're gonna trim off all of those little pieces at the end. And this doesn't have to be perfect. And then you guessed it, we're gonna smooth it down some more. So then I face her to the front and now I'm really working on gently pushing it down on both sides so it's nice and even. So you've got the hair on both sides and in the back, covering up the bead. Now we're going to take our glue gun and we're going to glue it down on one side. So I'm taking some of the hairs on the one side, I'm taking a small dab of glue, and then I'm gently going to press the thread into that glue. You can see I'm not pushing it down really hard, I'm barely tapping it into that glue. We don't want to press the thread so far into the glue that it lays flat against her head. You just want it to barely be attached there. And then another small dab of glue in the back. Gently pressing that thread into the glue. And this is what we've got so far. So you can see it's just attached on the one side. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So taking that thread, really smoothing it out. Lifting up the thread, taking a small dab of glue. And then gently pressing the thread into that glue. Also, if you press it down too hard, the glue starts to come through the thread and you can see it and we don't want that. And then one more little dab of glue on this side. And then we're going to put, we're gonna do the same thing just right in the middle. So gently lifting up that thread, making sure it's nice and smooth. 
and adding a small dab of glue right in the back. and gently pressing that thread into the glue. What we're doing is creating a ponytail that we're gonna uh, push over to one side of our doll. So we, the thread is now nice and attached on both sides and in the back in the middle. And I did miss a little tiny spot that I went back and added another tiny dab of glue to. You wanna make sure that, that's that the bead is nice and covered in the back smoothing out that thread a little bit more. Now we're going to grab our poly band and we're going to put it, we're going to create a side ponytail and put it around that thread. And I make this look really awkward. I promise it's easier to do when you're not trying to hold a doll under a camera. <laughs> and then just making sure that that thread is nice and smooth. All, the, all of the thread is laying flat And you can see I spent a lot of time arranging the thread and making sure that it is smooth. Then I'm going to face her to the back. Really make sure that that thread is even and I'm going to split it in half. So we're working on the back of the doll. Get it as even as you possibly can. So now we're going to twist the thread to one side. So I like to twist it back. So I'm twisting it to the left. Twist both of those pieces to the left. And now we're going to twist them together to the right. So they're basically wrapping around each other. So I'm crossing them over to the right. And then you want to make sure that that thread stays twisted. So you keep twisting the individual pieces to the left. And then cross them over each other to the right. And there you go. And then I pull her the hair over her shoulder to the front and make sure that it looks nice in the front as well. And if it doesn't, I will undo my little rope braid and start over. And then I take another poly band, add it to the end of our braid. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to take my scissors and just trim off that little poly band. So that basically just held the hair in place while we created the hairstyle. This is one of my favorite hairstyles for my angel fairies. It works really well with the angel wings. Another great over the shoulder, beautiful braid is my fishtail braid. And I do have a tutorial for that. I'll put a link for that below. So we just have this beautiful twisted rope braid. Now we're going to smooth out the ends and I'm going to grab some thread and I'm using some thread that matches her clothing. Once again, this is one of the fairies I, um, ha I have in my fairy kit. So you you'll get all of the supplies you see here to create your own fairy. And I'm just going to tie this thread around the end of the rope braid a few times wrapping the thread around making sure it's nice and secure and after I do about two knots I go in make sure you're not tying the thread right over the poly band because then it's really hard to get the poly band off so I tied a couple knots carefully went in cut off the poly band and I'm just wrapping it around a few times and tying it off in a knot And then I'm taking my glue gun, adding a little tiny dab of glue on top of that knot so it doesn't come undone. And then I'm going to smooth out the end some more and take my scissors. My big tip with this part, 
cut it longer than you would think because you can always go back and cut more and you don't want to have this weird little stubby end of her braid after you've created this gorgeous rope braid. So I trim it off, go back, look at it, trim it off a little bit more until I have the ends nice and even. And that's it guys, we're all set. What do you think? I'd love to know in the comments below. Also, I'd love to know what your favorite hairstyles are to create for your fairy dolls. Thank you so much for watching. I hope these videos really help break down steps of fairy making so that you can really perfect your fairy making skills. If you are interested in purchasing a fairy kit, once again, the link to my Etsy, Etsy shop is below. And here is a sneak peek of one of the fairies I made from the kit. The kit will come with three flowers, the beautiful white rose I already showed you, and then this really gorgeous red ranunculus. And I'm super excited about this kit, you guys. I have put so much time and into just all of the tiny details that I really think make these fairies so beautiful. It comes with so many fun embellishments and so many ways that you can change it up to really make your own unique fairies. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, once again, please do. It helps me out so much. And we'll see you guys next time.